My favorite drinks are coffee, red wine, and gin and tonic. But I'm not drinking any of those today because it's Mother's Day. And so today, I'm drinking, Mom, what you would drink. Just not that Jenny Light stuff you liked so much. I, I can't quite go that far. Well, Mom, this is a poem that uh, <laughs> I guess has taken me 25 years to write. I was living somewhere else when I first started writing this, and I entitled it Angels at Home. I live with cherubs in a ghost house of old luggage and former plans, walls dad stuffed with insulation, keeping winter out, surrounding us with a warmth that could have only come from you. I climbed the stairway where you took a tumble, with bones and bottles that might have broken, were it not for the troop of guardian angels who shadowed your every step. I romp with your grandsons in the room where it all happened, where I was shuffled out the door when the doctor called, and Dad wrapped his arms around you. I am monster, mustang, mountain now, on the carpet where we danced the bump, before the cancer bed ruled the room, and Dad read the Bible to you in the dark. I pull my boys close, knowing they will never know the warmth of your breath on the back of their ears, the comfortable shelter of your lap. So I tell them your stories, read them books, croon to Ralura and my little buckaroo. Dad visits, inspecting new paneling and paint, nods approval of your favorite shade of blue. Josiah brings flowers from backyard weeds, while his brother sleeps all day to wake us up at night. I've opened up the kitchen, but even all that extra light couldn't help me keep your plants alive. It's an art I would have liked to learn from you, along with other tricks you knew, like giving life, or hearing love when your man hasn't said a word, or maybe conning death into granting a longer stay, dancing with your bags already packed as if you couldn't give a damn and leaving angels behind you when you went away.